everyone my name is shambhavi hope you all are doing well so we'll be starting up today about the tableau right we'll be learning that what tableau is first of all what is our respective to okay so into that respective case let me quickly put up the topic name here what is and here goes my uh tableau okay my particular topic which we are going to start up today right so i would just take up a different color and let me start on with the writing of the things and everything in the detail okay great um okay i would first of all start writing up the definition and further as well i'll be letting you know that what this particular tool actually is okay so here goes that tableau tableau is a tableau is a powerful tableau is a powerful and fastest tableau is a powerful and fastest growing tableau is a powerful and fastest going data data visualization data visualization tool okay data visualization tool so first of all it's a very powerful and actually it's a um, a fastest growing data visualization tool okay now in what are the fields it is actually used for so i could simply start writing it up from here i could just take the sentence in the way that which is uh, which is used which is used in which is used in business which is used in business uh intelligence i could just put it up here uh, actually okay one second let me tell you one thing before after writing it out business intelligence uh industry okay business intelligence industry actually it consists about all of the respective uh, containing the the package of data data analyst and data science and all those respective things it simply covers about those okay so which is used up in the business intelligence industries okay further now what we are having further we are having that it helps it helps in it helps in the i would just get down okay it helps in the simplifying simply find okay yes it helps up in the simplifying raw data okay whatever the raw data we are having out it helps in the simplification of that respective raw data in a in a very in a very easily once again in a very easily in a very easily uh, understandable under stand understand table okay uh, it helps up in the simplifying of the raw data in a very easily understand table format understand table format okay so this is what actually uh, is in uh, in the tableau okay this is what it actually helps about so it completely helps you up into the simplifying of the raw data and that so as well in a very easily understandable format okay now what are the things that tableau as well helps about so i could just put it up and start writing it out to you that the tableau helps tableau helps create tableau helps create the data create the data that can be tableau helps create the data that that can be that can be understood that can be understood okay tableau helps create the data that can be understood uh, that can also be understood by by professionals by professionals okay by professionals at any level at any at any level in the okay not the in an okay actually so it helps you to create up the data that can be understood by the professionals at any level in an organization okay in an and here simply we are having up organization in an organization okay now further what it as well helps you to do further it as well helps one second where do i have the pen yeah it further helps you i would just write that it also it also allows it also allows non technical non it also it also allows non technical users 
it also allows the non technical users to create to create customized to create customized dashboards to create customized dashboards okay now first of all actually i would just explain you first of all this particular part whatever i just wrote here with a definition so tableau it's it's really a very powerful and the fastest growing data visualization tool now what actually we meant up with this particular term that i did wrote up here which is data visualization what does the suspective word means data and here means visualization okay okay you must have actually seen uh, either when you were into your some younger classes you must have seen uh, many a times the bar graphs were there uh, you must have seen some pie charts some line charts some line graphs actually right these all are the type of graphs which graphs which actually come under the data visualization okay now under the data visualization what happens that simply uh, into that respective case uh, you have some sort of data okay you are having up a data you you applied up the pre processing tools and whatever you did want to do you did everything finally your model is ready ready now you want to visualize visualize out that respective model with the help of any any graph that actually suits and uh, in a sort of any pictorial representation okay now that particular things come under the data visualization now tableau is actually a tool in tableau it's not the case uh, till now what we understood in the previous topics actually which we dealt about so on to that i told you that okay with the help of seaborn uh, with the help of matplotlib or with the help of plotly we were actually able to write up the codes right in a single single line we were able to write up the codes and we did perform and make up the pictorial representations we made up the bar graphs we made up the bubble plots the pie charts the line graphs all these things we did made while writing up each and every single line right now tableau and tableau it's the case that really you do not need out those particular things okay what happens up in tableau that simply you are having up that tool and into that respective tool only you have to just drag and drop the respective columns choose about the respective graph which you want to make drag and drop the respective uh, columns and yes your plot is actually ready now that's the reason it is mentioned up that it is powerful and fastest growing data visualization tool it helps to save your time it helps actually to to save that okay uh, writing up the code and as well it gives you a better representation now how come a better representation now when you put up some respective columns okay let's say you you see that okay on to the x axis i want this column and you see on to the y axis i want that column when this is the case that on to x axis and on to y axis you are having a respective columns so what tableau actually does it uh, it automatically suggest you out that okay if you want to keep this column on to x and if you want to keep that column on to y so with the help of this x and y and with the help of these rows and columns you could simply make up this plot on to your own okay now that is the case which comes under tableau that is one of the reason that why really it is a powerful and a fastest growing tool for nowadays it reduces your work it reduces your task it helps you to save up the time and even it helps you to display up the better representation because when you drag up any row or any column or when you say that okay on to x axis i want this and on to y i want that respective thing now into that case when you drop up your x and the y columns now at one side it means at on the right hand side it has up a special feature and on to that special feature it really displays up all the respective plots which you could make with the help of those two particular columns now that's super easy for you to choose that out and simply put now there it's a it's a actually 2 minutes work for you to analyze that which plot is going to be the best now when you have to write up these code individually and from that you have to compare so it could somewhat take around 15 to 20 minutes for you right so it's has for a time saving work as well with the help of tableau right now as i mentioned up here in the definition as well that it helps you to simplify the data in a very understandable format now you can clean the data as well on to the tableau this is one more feature which you have up into the tableau okay you could you could actually clean up the data now there are two methods that we'll be discussing further in somewhat videos so there are two methods into which you could clean up the data as well 
okay two versions you are having up of w now for cleaning as well no need to write up that much long code for cleaning up data and all those things third thing it supports many types of data you take csv you take excel sx you take whatever the data you are having it supports any type of format of data so now these are the few features actually which are like reason tableau is really preferred nowadays a lot it helps us well to create up the data that can be understood by the professionals at any level in an organization now when you are having up any drag drag and drop facility for any particular tool so yes it's it's more than useful for the professional as well in your organization right and whatever the you, you are having non technical issues is uh, it as well helps to create out the customized dashboards now using the seaborn matplotlib or plotly you are not at all able to to sum up or to make uh, somewhat around um, five uh, five or six plots at one single time it it is actually a big task it really needs around half an hour for you to write up that program and further uh, describe and combine make the different subplots and all those things but in tableau you have a feature for making that dashboards so that that respective dashboards can be made again very easily into that you could combine five plots in that you could combine 10 plots and even you could make up the live dashboards live dashboards means that as soon as the data gets updated they will automatically get get updated time on time and time so these are the idea regarding the tableau right so hope i am very much clear to you right here that what actually tableau is and why do we say about that it is a powerful tool further we'll be discussing many more things regarding the tableau and all of those respective things in the further videos so this is all for this video children thank you and take care